Hi my peeps, what's up Wagwan? Welcome back to your girl Tiona in the house And this is the updated video One, I soaked the fruits For weeks or months or year you can soak it for But now I'm gonna stew it I'm gonna use some overproof white rum You can use any rum of your choice And I have my good red label wine Can you know say me a Jamaican yeah we have to stick with the natural and the goodness okay here i have one um pack of prunes and it says it's a large prunes you can add any one you can add the mince one the the little smaller ones anyhow but i'm gonna cut these up okay and i'm gonna use all of these raisins okay this one is Thompson raisins and I love that one. I'm going to use some current raisins as well. I'm, I think I'm going to use half of this one. Here I have almost a cup of cranberry. A cup will do but guys me eat them off in my salad and I never have no more. <laughs> so that will do. And I'm going to use one of this cherry. I just got it from the dollar store. A cut mix peel. And I'm going to use all of that because I used about half of it the other day. I have some dates. All right. And I use some of it. I love these. They're so sweet and nice. And I have some apricots. This is optional. You don't have to put this one in. You can just use what's right there. But I love it because it's dry and it gives me that fruity flavor. This is my large prunes. Ooh. That's a lot of prunes, guys. Let's cut up that. That's about three quarters of it. And then we'll see how much we have. I think I need about a cup or two. So we'll see. I'm just going to dice them in four. And then I'm going to measure out two cups. All right, so guys, this is one cup, all right? And I need two cups. I'm gonna use the whole pack. So guys, I'm using the whole pack. So I will get two cups from the pack. I'm gonna dump this in. It gives me exactly two cups. When I cut it up. Now I have my dates and I'm just going to cut it in small pieces. See guys, you got to be careful and search for the seed. There is a seed, you want to take this one out. We're going to see how much this will be now we're gonna put it in here and we have one cup there and we roughly get two cups roughly two cups and the next thing guys we're gonna have our apricots and I'm just gonna cut them up you, this is this one is optional okay guys you don't have to use this one and i'm just going to cut them in four all right so that's that i'm going to blend them after okay when i'm almost to make my um my fruit cake so that's one cup and let me show you I'm just gonna pour it over here okay yeah it's about a cup and quarter and I'm gonna pour that in I'm gonna use all of these cherries I'm gonna strain it off strain off the liquid and then I'm gonna cut them in two all right guys here we are oh yes baby and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut them in two because I'm stewing it. 
if they're really small you don't have to cut them it's lucky I cut them because look there is a seed <laughs> And there's another seed. I think that's good. Basically, it's going to give me one cup. I have two cups of um, raisins, okay? And this is the Thompson's raisin. I rinse them off and I'm going to pour that in as well. I have my cup of cherries. And I'm going to pour that in. I rinse it also. Just rinse it in some cold water and I have about three quarter cup almost a cup of mixed peel and I'm gonna add that in two cups of boiling water all right and now this is the goodness I'm gonna throw out half of it first I have almost three cups of um, red label wine and we're gonna pour that in and you want to make sure the fruits are covered guys if you smell this here it's heaven oh no all right I'm just gonna add one thing to it to flavor it and I have some cinnamon stick and all I need to do just add one these cinnamon sticks they're really strong so add one cinnamon stick down in there right there so guys yes yes and you want to leave it to simmer this is it so far look at that goodness 25 minutes to half an hour and this is how it looks I'm gonna leave it for about five more minutes and then I'm gonna turn the stove off. Look at that goodness. Yes. You wanna make sure everything is soft too so it can blend. See that? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Look at that yes 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 the reason to stew the fruit guys it's to get all the flavor in, in it and to make the the fruits a little bit softer for blending all right guys this is where i'm at the container almost full Ooh. And you want to make sure slow cook it guys that it doesn't burn okay stew look at that goodness mm. there's a bit left so i think it will hold gonna make sure you take out every bit okay guys and it did hold guys I get one jar and this is about half cup of rum I think that's good enough and we're gonna pour that in oh yes we're gonna get drunk around here guys you can store this on your countertop or you can store it in the fridge it's up to you all right you can store this for weeks for months or you can use some of it tomorrow the day after whenever you want all right guys this is a quick way of stewing your fruits okay and you get all the goodness please remember to like and subscribe to my channel one love and be blessed 
and put God first.